The budget smartphone price range is loaded with a lot of powerful and feature rich smartphones from Chinese as well as Indian companies. But I have noticed many of my friends asking me suggestion for a phone for their parents who only wants a phone from a trusted brand and a Chinese phone is strictly a no. So for all those buyers, here's a phone which qualifies all those aspects, the Samsung Galaxy On5. This is Sarvesh Bode and let's get on with the review. So first, let's look at the hardware of the phone. At the front, we have a 5-inch HD display with a 288 pixel per inch density. Hardware-wise, this phone has a Exynos 3475 quad-core chipset, clocked at 1.3 GHz and a Mali T720 GPU. The onboard storage, we have a 8 GB of ROM and 1.5 GB of RAM, which is more than enough for daily uses. Looking at the camera, we have a 8 megapixel sensor at the rear and 5 megapixel sensor at the front. So this was all hardware and specs. Now let's look at the display of the phone. There is a 5 inch high definition display at the front, which is very bright and beautiful to look at, with almost accurate color reproduction. The outdoor visibility is excellent with the outdoor mode next to the brightness slider. Viewing angles they are okay, but they could have been better. Overall a decent display with great outdoor visibility. Of course the video might suggest something else but the outdoor visibility are really good. And this sort of thing adds to the practicality of the phone. Now, let's move to the design of the phone. Talking about the design, this phone is fairly similar to Samsung Galaxy S5, which was a flagship for Samsung previously. At the back, especially at the back, where it has a fake leather accents, a fake leather sort of finish at the back. The frame of the phone is made of metal and it has a shiny bezel, which adds a bit of premiumness to the looks of the smartphone. So moving towards the software, the, uh, the phone has TouchWiz UI which is a skin on Android which runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop. It, I had a very bad experience with the TouchWiz UI on my old Samsung Galaxy S4 but yeah the things have changed a lot now. TouchWiz UI is fast and responsive to use with decent RAM management which was always a issue earlier. There is a lot to play with in the UI so yeah a lot of gimmicky features. Uh, I don't know if they are practical or not but yeah a lot of features to use. There is a new smart uh, manager which lets you manage your RAM and other things, battery server mode. So yeah, a lot of things to play with. So decent software, fast and responsive. So to the camera, this is where I was fairly impressed by the phone. Uh, the phone has a simple sort of camera app. There are various mode, auto mode, uh, continuous shot, pro mode, panorama mode and then of course face beauty mode. There is a slider to increase or decrease brightness. And yeah, the shutter speed is uh, is okay. You know, it's it's good. It's not that bad. And then there is the Pro mode. Uh, Pro mode is very useful as you can you know adjust uh, exposure and ISO. So yeah, it helps for a better shot. And the layout is fairly simple and easy to use. There is timer. Then you have the focus. Uh, focus. You can change the focus from center to other thing. And yeah, so fairly simple camera app and photos were really good means uh, there is a lot of a uh, lot of details in the photo of course it's an 8 megapixel camera but fairly a uh, fairly good camera and then as I will show you uh, the phone has uh, can record in full HD then of course you can also record in 720p and uh, the settings so let me go to the settings and here it is of course you can see the uh, yeah there is the pix uh, picture size 8 megapixel and there you go full HD HD and VGA so yeah that's uh, that's good the phone has a simple camera app and it's really good so the camera I'll show you some of the samples I've taken and uh, you will notice there's a lot of details in the photo of course these photos are from the outdoor night at the uh, at the low light conditions the camera struggles a bit and there is a bit of noise in the camera but yeah you have to expect that but outdoors the camera really performs well and here is the video sample taken from the Samsung Galaxy On5 at full HD resolution 1080p. So now talking about the front camera, the 5 megapixel. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a sample to show you guys, but 
uh, it was fairly decent camera outdoors it was good uh, but i personally felt that the frame wasn't wide enough to fit a lot of people in your selfie so yeah that was a problem but a decent kind of camera so coming to the performance of the phone uh, as i have told you guys early uh, because of the touch base it is quite smooth and fluid uh, no problem with the performance because of uh, good ram management uh, multitasking was also good uh, there was no uh, freeze or lags uh, in the ui so uh, uh, normal daily performance it was really good no problem with it now coming to the gaming i played uh, some simple sort of games uh, the hill climb game and other game he is the gameplay and no lags experienced uh, there was no lag in the gameplay it played really smooth and well and of course i in the end i played a, a game called fairy breaks and this game sort of struggled on a redmi 1s device which runs on a snapdragon 400 processor uh, and this same game runs fairly smooth on this phone so yeah the processor is really good for casual gaming of course i don't expect it to play high end games as this phone is not made for that so yeah with casual gaming uh, this phone is quite good there was no no lag experience the sound quality is also good with the game so yeah no problem with the performance of the phone for daily uses this phone is really good so coming to the bad part of the phone at the front for the display there is no protection glass at all no calling gorilla nothing so the screen will scratch out easily uh, and you will need to get a screen protector for that and and another thing the sensors the list of sensors on this phone is fairly basic sort of sensor you only have those basic important sensors and again coming to another important thing is the processor the phone runs on exynos processor and at the same price you can get a snapdragon processor uh, of course the brand will be chinese or uh, indian one but you will get a snapdragon processor which is a lot faster and a lot better at gaming performance so you miss out on that but again if you look at this phone from the perspective of buyer who wants a trusted brand with a good customer service this is the fun phone to go for so again this phone makes a lot of sense so that's it guys this was a short video on samsung galaxy on 5 make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such video to come thanks for watching guys cheers